January 2019, IAL, um, paper C34, question number 13, which is the final question of the paper. Okay, so here we have um, a situation which has been modeled by this equation. A scientist is studying a population of insects. The number of insects N is in the population T days after the start of the study is modeled by this equation. So T is the number of days, which is time, and N is the number of insects. This equation um, models the, the, the population of insects in a certain number of days. Okay, now, K is a constant. Given that there were 50 insects at the start of the journey, find the value of K. Okay, so now, at the start of the study is when T equals zero. There were 50 insects, okay, that means n equals 50. When t equals 0, n equals 50. So at t equals 0, n equals 50. So all we need to do is substitute these values into this equation that they gave us, and then we'll be left with one unknown, which is k, which we have to find. So you've got 50 is equal to 240 divided by 1 plus k times e to the power of 0. If we put 0 instead of t, you're going to have minus 0 over 16, which is 0. And anything to the power of 0, we know the law, the law, law, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. E is just the, the exponential or the natural number. Okay? So you have 50 is equal to 240 divided by 1 plus k. And then if we cross multiply, we have 1 plus k is equal to 240 divided by 50, which is 5 goes, or well, the zeros cancel, that's 4.4 4 and 4 fifths, 4.8. So 1 plus k is equal to 4.8, therefore k is equal to 4.8 minus 1, so k is equal to 3. And there we have the value of k. Okay, that's part A done. I'll go straight on to part D, as that was quite short. Part B, sorry, that, that, that was quite short. Now it says, use a model to find the value of t when n equals 100. So we now, now know that k is equal to 3.8. It's a constant, so its value will be the same. Okay, the others are variables. n and t are variables. So we've got to find what t is, okay, when n is equal to 100. So now we know that the formula is n equals 240 over 1 plus 3.8 e to the power of minus t over 16. Okay, the 3.8 will always be there but the n and t depend on each other, okay, the variables. So now what we need to do is substitute n equals 100 and then find what t is. So we have 100 is equal to 240 divided by 1 plus 3.8 e to the power of minus t over 16. Now we're going to solve this equation, so let's cross multiply again. We can cross multiply, so we have 1 plus 3.8 e to the power of minus t over 16 equals 240 divided by 100, which is going to be 2.4. Okay, so we have 1 plus 3.8 e to the power of minus t over 16 equals 2.4. So we got to now uh, make this the subject, so we can subtract 1 from each side. So we have 3.8 e to the power of minus t over 16 is equal to 2.4 minus 1, which is 1.4. Let me just write that straight down. 2.4 minus that 1. That's 1.4. And then we can divide both sides by 3.8. So we have e to the power of minus t over 16 equals 1.4 divided by 3.8. Okay, 3.8. So now we can solve this by taking logs. But what I like to do is I like to make this a positive um, power. So if we know, if we remember that a to the power of minus m is the same as 1 over a to the power of m, okay, so you can write it as reciprocal, okay? So if I write this as it's reciprocal, this will be e to the power of t over 16. That's now the reciprocal of this, okay? So therefore, I can write this as it's reciprocal. I have to, because if I, if I flip one side, I've got to flip the other side. So I'll flip this side now. So I can say that if I take the lin of both sides, the log of the natural number of both sides, I can get rid of that e. So if I take the log of, of lin of e to the power of t over 16 is equal to lin 
of 3.8 divided by 1.4. So lin to the base, this means log to the base e of e, because it gives you 1. The power law first, you've got to, you know, multiply the whole of this lin by the power. So it's t over 16 times 1, basically, because lin to the base, log to the base e of e is lin, and anything to the same base of each other. So if I say log to the base a, of a will give you 1. So lin e will also give you 1 because this means log to the base e. Okay? All right, log to the base e of e. So you've got t over 16 is equal to lin, 3 point, lin of 3.8 divided by 1.4. I'm not going to write down its exact value or its rounded value until I've finished um, simplifying. So t is equal to 16 times lin. 3.8 divided by 1.4. So now we can just take our calculator and we can stick those values into our calculator as follows. We have 16 lin um, bracket 3.8 over 1.4. Close your bracket. 16 lin 3.8 over 1.4. Just always make a check that you type the right thing in. It's very common for people to make mistakes like that. And that equals 15.976. So T equals 15.976. Now let's look at how they've asked us to round. They said, okay, use the model to find the value of T when N equals 100. So we should round it to, I'd say, 3SF if they don't say anything. So that's 15.976 gives you 15 or 16.0, so 16.0 days, okay, and T was in days, okay, and there we have the answer for part B, and the next part I will answer in the next part of this, the next video, sorry.